Hi, I'm Natalie Casey, and I wanted to do a video about my transition out of being a full-time beach buddy coach. So I'm not coaching full-time anymore. I took a step back in March. Um, first, I want to apologize. My voice is raspy. Um, I've been up since 2.53 a.m. with my toddler. My husband was on the night shift, so it was just me trying to get him back to sleep. And it was an epic fail. So that's what I'm working with today. Anyways, um, my transition out of being a coach. First, I just want to say that Beachbody is an awesome company that offers wonderful solutions to people. They are rated an A plus on the Better Business Bureau. People run that company who have the best intentions. They want their coaches out there being good people, helping doing wonderful things. But one thing I noticed as a coach is that coaches, myself included, tend to get tunnel vision. And I think it was such a blessing that I had it in my heart to take a step back. And I'll tell you why. Because one thing I noticed is that when someone's not committing or they are just making a ton of excuses, um, whatever, maybe they just decided that Beachbody isn't going to work for them for whatever reason, or they're not ready to take that big of a step in a lifestyle change. Coaches tend to say, like, they're just making excuses, and they're not ready, and blah, blah, blah. But since taking a step back, I can really look at the bigger picture and say, you know, maybe there's another way to help this person. Maybe I can guide them in another way other than just solely focused on Beachbody. So that has been a wonderful blessing for me to be able to really take a, back, a step back and see. So I started coaching in May 2014, and so much has changed since then. My entire life has changed since then. In October, I, I had a, a crazy summer. I had my first miscarriage in August, end of August, September, um, which I never, ever, ever thought would happen to me in a million years. I cannot tell you the shock and just craziness that that event brought to my life. Um, so in October, I really started soul searching, and that was when I really started recovering. And I started thinking, is this right for me? You know, it didn't match up with my work history. Even though Beachbody is about helping people, it's about sales too. I mean, that's the bottom line. There's no way to cut it. It's about sales. And even though that might not be someone's main focus when introducing a Beachbody program to you, if you want to make a full-time income, a full-time career out of an MLM, you are going to work your bottom off. Believe me. I got to Diamond in six months, and I don't even know what I did in those six months. Seriously. Um, when my husband had a day off, which was really rare, I would sit in our office. I would get up before them at like 5 a.m., and I would work from like until like 9 or 10 p.m., taking little breaks to just interact with our son and say hi to my husband, just like see his face for a second because he's never around. Um, and it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. So I just knew at that point that that's not the way I wanted to live my life. It just, it wasn't. I mean, I didn't even want to be a full-time working mom. I wanted to really focus on my family and my kids. And, you know, with my husband's career, he's a police officer locally, it's unpredictable and it's a lot of hours and then it's court time and then something crazy happens. And with sales for me comes stress. And with my husband already being in such a stressful job, I don't think that, I just think the whole thing was not adding up and was not the right fit for our life. But what really got me to take a step back was going on a diamond retreat. I earned a free vacation basically and work seminar for hitting the rank of diamond. All I had to do was buy my plane ticket and I wasn't gonna go, I really wasn't. And the person who was at the top of 
our team locally. She told me I had to. She was basically like, if you want your business to grow, you have to do this. And I did. I wanted my business to grow. I wanted, you know, I thought that's what I wanted at the time. I thought that that was still what was right for me. And she was right. I mean, she's even more successful now. And I signed four coaches in that weekend. I got all sorts of attention, all sorts of people interested. And it worked. It basically worked for my business and it sucked for my family. Sorry if you have little ones watching <laughs> around you, whatever. So on the retreat, um, my son did not do well. My husband was back here working 12 hour shifts, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And our son goes to bed at like 6.30 or 7. So he was without mom and without dad. And he was with my parents who he adores. But at the end of the day, it's just not the same. He was struggling. I was struggling because he was struggling. My husband was at work stressed out. I mean, it was just really not good for the family. Everyone told me like, oh, he'll be fine. He won't even notice you're gone. He'll have so much fun. Let me tell you this. He wouldn't even look at me when I got in the car after I got off the plane. He was so mad. So mad. It was a really hard experience. So then, dun dun dun, we got the shock of a lifetime. My flight was delayed, and let me tell you this, I'm not a crier at all. I never cry. And um, my flight, like I said, my flight was delayed. Sorry, my little guy's like upstairs. He's supposed to be sleeping, but he's banging his door. Um, anyways, yeah, we got the shock of a lifetime, which was, let me explain. Okay, so I'm not a crier, and I started bawling my eyes out in the airport. Like, not getting upset, like, really over the edge. The last time I had a breakdown like that was when I was 20 weeks pregnant with my son. And I was, like, shaking, and I couldn't breathe, flipping out. Um, and I called my husband, and... You know, I got off the phone with him, and my first thought was, you're pregnant. And then I shut my brain off. I was like, no way. There's no way you're pregnant. No way. You're crazy. You're just, emotions are running high. You're not pregnant. Then we were on the plane the next day, and I was feeling nauseous, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm pregnant. After drinking all weekend and after having two miscarriages. Now, keep in mind, we were not trying to get pregnant. Like, we were becoming foster parents because we didn't want to be pregnant again. Emotionally, I could not handle it. So I was just very shocked and coming off of, like, drinking all weekend. By drinking all weekend, I mean I probably had, like, two or three glasses of wine the first night and then maybe, like, three glasses of wine the second night and maybe, like, some sangria. Nothing crazy, but at the same time, a million thoughts were going through my head, and I basically lived the next couple months just in a state of shock and just shocked. There's no other word for it, but shocked, purely like, how did this happen? How am I going to survive this? <laughs> like, what's going to happen to this baby? We can joke now that it's our Irish baby. And it's like the only one that survived out of three because I was drinking all weekend and gave it a good start in life, apparently. But the baby is really healthy. You can see my bump. I'm 25 weeks. Um, we're having a healthy baby boy who will probably be just as energetic and strong-willed as our little boy Liam is. He's two. Um, so yeah, what, where am I going from here? So I really just, I remembered my reason when I was working my last job before I quit to do Beachbody. Um, my thing was, I was always wishing at work, like, I wish I can just throw myself into a lifestyle change. And as I'm doing it, just like share it with people so that they don't have to struggle as much as I did. Like someone who's like me can just see what I'm doing and, use it as a guide and seeing what's working for me. Like other moms, you know, other wives are just like single ladies. <laughs>
trying to make a lifestyle change, whoever it is. And that's not just doing the 21 day fix. That's such a small part of it. Like getting chemicals out of your house, living better, like not getting chemicals out of your house. If that doesn't bother you and you don't think that's having an effect on your life, like, cool, that's fine. Um, parenting, like being a wife, being a Christian, I mean, just that sort of stuff, like just really putting things out there and sharing my life with others. So, and hopefully inspiring them to make a lifestyle change themselves. So I'm really excited. I'm really, really focusing on um, health and fitness coaching on a local level and doing stuff for moms, especially because I live in a really unhealthy place, Buffalo, New York, and I just really want to bring change to this area and help bring change to this area. There's so many people doing great things here, and I just want to be part of that. So I'm really looking forward to hosting some events for local moms and just helping people get their families on the right track. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was long, but I appreciate you know, all the positivity and all the comments and all the support. Bye.